Well, how's it going, my friends? Paul Corral here, and in this little video slash blog post, we're gonna be talking about a nootropic stack that I'm using right now that I think is quite good and probably a good stack to use on a day in, day out, sustainable basis that isn't um, having a lot of adverse side effects. You know, a lot of nootropics, they, they work really well for a day or two, then you see diminishing returns or they knock you out, uh, you know, the, stuff like that. So uh, what I've found is kind of a take on a classic nootropic stack that I think, again, is going to be great for a day in, day out stack. Um, that does three things for you. Energy, focus, mood. I think these are the things that really count with nootropics, right? A lot of people are looking for that all day energy and mental focus and motivation, right? And with the right combination, uh, I think that's definitely possible. And being a coffee drinker, caffeine or your cup of coffee is definitely incorporated into this stack, okay? So let's let's uh, let's start off with the classic part of the stack you've likely heard of if you're into nootropics. Okay, it is good old caffeine stacked with theanine. Okay, you've probably heard of this before, and for good reason. It's a really simple stack. It's something you can use day in and day out. It's not going to have any adverse effects. And basically, I'm gonna grab my little theanine right there, 200 milligrams with a cup of coffee where you're getting ballpark about 100 milligrams of caffeine, that's the perfect ratio, two to one, theanine to caffeine. Uh, the studies back this up. Uh, essentially what it does for you is it gives you the mood elevation, the energy and focus from the caffeine, but it actually further increases your focus without the jitteriness, without the anxiety that a lot of people get from caffeine. So they stack real nicely with each other. And a lot of people prefer green tea for this reason because green tea is where theanine is naturally occurring. The problem with that is um, it just doesn't taste as good as coffee, let's be real. And the ratios aren't as good. It's actually two to one in favor of caffeine to theanine. And of course, it's not as potent, so you got to drink more of it. If you prefer green tea, fantastic, start there. Nothing uh, wrong with that. But if you're a coffee drinker, have your coffee and get yourself some 200 milligrams of theanine. Really cheap. I think I spent like 23 bucks on this and it has like 60 servings. So this is going to last me like two months. All right. Um, awesome little stack you've likely heard before. It's classic. Now, here are my additions to it. And here's my thought process. Okay. The thing is with caffeine is, of course, you build a tolerance over time. And that kind of sucks because you need more and more and more to the point where it's not doing anything for you. And then you're all cracked out and you need to go off the caffeine for a while and you feel like absolute dog shit for a week while you start kind of rebuilding uh, uh, your, your tolerances, right? Well, don't do that. Uh, the best thing to do is stack the caffeine with something that works synergistically with it that you don't build a dependence on so that you don't need to continually increase your caffeine intake to get the same result. What am I talking about? Theocrine. Theocrine is a very interesting compound that I found not too long ago, uh, which is very similar to uh, caffeine. It's naturally occurring in, in a couple of different teas, but not in great amount. So when you isolate it, what's cool about theocrine is that it feels a lot like caffeine, but it's a little bit more mellow. It's not quite as jittery, it's not quite as up, but it is energizing, it is focusing, it does elevate your mood. And it has twice the half-life of caffeine. And from the few studies that exist on it right now, it would appear that you don't build that tolerance to it as quickly as you do with caffeine. So what that translates to is this, is you get the focus, the mood elevation, all day from a single dose, right? And you don't build a tolerance, so you don't need more and more like you do with caffeine. And you don't need multiple doses throughout the day like you do with caffeine, right? So when you stack it, you stack theocrine, these are 100 milligrams, which is a pretty good dose, with your cup of coffee. They work synergistically. It's basically like more energy, more mood, more focus, but instead of the coffee wearing out in two to three hours, it lasts 10 to 12. It's freaking fantastic. And then when you got these two th 
things stacked with the theanine, again, it makes sure that you don't get the jitters, you don't get the the anxiety, you're not quick to anger, but you just, it really kind of hones in that focus, right? Because a lot of times you have energy with caffeine, but then you're kind of scatterbrained. You can't focus on one thing. That's where the theanine comes in. So if you're trying to get things done, be task oriented, or, you know, you you you'd have to do anything that requires extended periods of time being focused on a single task the theanine is going to enhance that caffeine the theocrine makes sure that that single dose you have in the morning lasts all day and doesn't fade okay and you don't crash because you come off nice and slow again it uh, uh works beautifully now that right there pretty cool stack very uh affordable you can do that all day, every day is not going to screw with you, right? Um, but there's one more addition. And I, and this one, not uh, totally necessary, but I really like this next addition for the mood elevation aspect of it, okay? Because one of the reasons why everybody gets addicted to caffeine and they like it other than the energy is it does cause a little bit of extra that uh, dopamine release. Dopamine is your, in, I call it like the enthusiastic achiever neurochemical, right? Uh, it, it's what puts you in a good mood, makes you want to go out and do things, learn things, build things, right? And uh, when you're low on dopamine, of course, you're really, really depressed and lethargic. Uh, that's one of the reasons why caffeine and theocrine are so fantastic is because it's not just about the energy, it's about the mood elevation, right? But here's the thing is when you're constantly, you know, doing stimulants day in and day out and you're causing the brain to produce and release more dopamine, you know, the brain's naturally going to need a little bit more raw material, right? To produce that dopamine. Otherwise, you can uh, get to a point where you're feeling kind of burnt out, right? And again, there's that tolerance thing again. And then you need more and more to get the same result until it just doesn't work anymore and you feel like absolute crap. So what does your brain need to produce dopamine at an accelerated rate to accommodate for all this goodness? Well, you may know this already. It's pretty popular. L-tyrosine. Okay? L-tyrosine is just an amino acid that your brain likes to use to produce dopamine, okay? So it makes sense to use some L-tyrosine in combination with your caffeine theocrine uh, to give your brain the extra raw material it needs in order to produce that higher amount of dopamine day in and day out just makes sense, right? It's kind of like if you're into nootropics, again, you know, a lot of people stack, uh, um, what is it, racetams with a choline source because racetams cause your brain to utilize choline at an accelerated rate. So you need to give your brain the ability to produce more choline, right? Same idea here. Again, I don't think this is as uh, uh, necessary, especially if you're cycling off on the weekends, you know, allowing your brain to kind of replenish, but I like it. I think it's great. So this little stack right here, brew yourself a nice cup of coffee and get yourself some, some tasty beans and grind them fresh and make them in a French press. I mean, it's, it's the best way to drink coffee. Uh, way better than, than Keurigs and paper filters. Forget all that. Make yourself a good cup of coffee. And then take yourself 100 milligrams of theocrine, 200 milligrams of L-theanine, and this is a 500 milligram dose of L-tyrosine. And all these, you can probably grab them for less than 20, 30 bucks. And most of them, like, God, how many you get? 100 capsules? I mean, this is going to last months. This is going to last like two months. And then this, what is it, 60? This is going to last two months too. So really, you might end up spending like, let's say, $60, $70 on all three of these. And they're going to last you two, three months. It's not a very big investment. And I got to tell you, it is absolutely fantastic for your productive productivity, your focus, your just production level, right? Because I, I think there's way too many people relying on uh, pharmaceuticals these days. You know, you hear a lot of people using Adderall or Modafinil, and uh, I've used Modafinil. It's pretty cool. It works, but I don't like the idea of using prescription drugs on a regular basis. I really don't, and I definitely don't like the idea of using Adderall. Um, that's essentially legal amphetamine. I mean, we all know 
<laughs> that's not a great idea. So give this a shot. I think it'll give you the energy, the focus, and the mood elevation you're looking for um, without the downside uh, of uh, the popular pharmaceuticals that people often use to, to derive the same benefits. Uh, that being said, here's my uh, PSA. I am not a doctor. I don't play one on the internet. Don't go do something silly and then blame it on me because uh, you're not going to get any money out of me. I'm not a wealthy guy, so you'll be screwed anyway. So don't, uh, <laughs> don't do anything silly. Uh, take this advice with a grain of salt and, uh, you know, be an adult, you know, uh, take a look at that risk reward ratio and decide for yourself. All right, cool. So there's the, uh, stupid people warning out of the way. I know most of you are smart driven people and that's completely wasted on you, but Hey, it's the, 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 it's, it's the age we live in, I guess. Okay. All right, cool. So hope that's helpful. You can always throw questions in the comments below, whether you're on YouTube, the blog, wherever you happen to be seeing this social. Give me a good 24, 48 hours to get back to you. I'd be happy to share with you any, any insights uh, that I've had from my personal experience and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.